Are you ready to rock? Ready to roll. All right, loud and clear, I can hear you. Ooh, that's pointy today. Welcome back. Um, we're going to get unpacked, take our snacks. Now, um, today, we're going to talk about, and this week in ELA, we're going to be talking about the beginning, the middle, and the end. Okay? And lots of stories, all stories, have a beginning where the story starts, middle, where the conflict, problem, or things happening, events in the story, and then an end. How does a story end? Now, it's important to remember, how did the story change from the beginning to the end? Or did everything stay the same? Probably not, because in stories, authors like twists and turns, different things happening. So our grade level story this week, uh, we're gonna take a look at on Wednesday. And on Monday and Tuesday of this week, we're gonna be talking about beginning, middle, and end. Today, I'm gonna take a look at another story called Llama Llama and the Bully Goat. One of my favorite, favorite socialization stories. And uh, a bully is somebody who is not fair to other people um, and, and treats them differently. And they push them around. And there's so many different things, um, so many different um, bullies in the world. I and mean, you can't recognize a bully. It could, um, it doesn't look a certain way. Uh, but bullies are mean to people. And that's a lot about what the story is about. Now, I want you to pay attention to the, the pictures in the story, the words in the story. And anytime I start reading a story, I want to use these clues in the text, in the illustrations, and guess what might happen next in the story. Because there's different parts of the story. Different things happen. Um, so uh, the last story, um, I know we had read about um, the snake who was late, and then at the end, remember, everybody waited for him. And at the beginning, he kept, he slept late. Uh, in the middle, he wasn't really in a hurry to get there on time. So these things all happened in order, okay? So let's take a look at um, Llama Llama and the Bully Goat today. Now, Llama is an animal. And we're talking about animals in science. To my sister Tanya, with love. Oh, that's nice. The author wrote this for someone special. Llama Llama, busy day. Writing, counting, pictures, clay. Okay, so we could tell that the setting is the... What do you do that stuff? Writing, counting, drawing pictures, sometimes using clay. Yes, the setting is the school. Very good. Roll a pancake, draw the sun. Almost everyone has fun. Okay, so this is the beginning of the story. So in my be in my um, beginning, middle, end box chart, I want to start with the beginning and write something along the lines of the kids were playing together, having fun in the classroom. Time for circle, time for song, time to clap and sing along. Kitty, rhino, sheep, and calf, llama, nelly, and giraffe. All sing songs on their way. Moo and bellow, bah, and bray. Seems like everyone's working together and being kind to each other. Llama, llama claps the beat. Gilroy goat just points and bleats. <laughs> That's not very nice at all. Sheep goes bah, and calf goes moo. Gilroy thinks that's silly too. So Gilroy's talking about how the other animals, what the noises they make and how he thinks that that's funny and silly. But that's who they are. And that's really important to just leave them be and, and accept them for the sounds that they make. That's the way they were born. Llama Llama likes to sing. Gilroy laughs at everything. Llama sings out just the same. Gilroy says a not nice name. I'm starting to not like this story. Gilroy's being super mean. Teacher has some things to say. Calling names is not okay. She's right. Being mean is not allowed. Teacher says to stop it now. 
Okay, so now we're getting into the middle into the middle parts of the story. Uh, the teacher says stop. He was told not to do it anymore. Let's see what happens in the middle. Is Gilroy going to keep bothering, keep bullying, or is he going to take it easy and decide to be kind? Time for recess. Go outside. Monkey bars and slippy slides. Nellie's, N Nellie's dolly makes a road. Fuzzy llama pulls a load. Kids climb up and kids climb down. Everybody runs around. Nellie's dolly wants to dig. Fuzzy drives a great big rig. Now, you remember before when I talked about um, when you start reading a story, what you should look at? Well, the illustrations of the pictures are going to be really helpful. What do you think Gilroy Goat's up to? See him watching them having fun playing? He looks like he's up to no good. Gilroy stands in Fuzzy's way. Gilroy, do you want to play? Gilroy bleats and kicks the dirt. He gets sand on Llama's shirt. Sand is really dangerous. You can get that in your eye. Gilroy throws some dirt at Nellie. Ha <laughs> ha! News are really smelly. I don't like anything that this Gilroy goat is doing. He's, he's going to lose some friends. Friends don't like when you treat others like that. Gilroy pushes Fuzzy Falls. Ha <laughs> ha, Llama's playing with dolls. He's using his hands now, and he's still saying these not nice things. Oh, no, you're never going to believe what Gilroy's doing now. Now this, see this? That's a staple. That's a staple. That's a staple. So this is the exact middle of the story. What's going on right now? Beginning, everyone's having fun. They're learning, playing, in the classroom, smiling, to working together. Now what's going on? Gilroy snickers, laughs, and kicks. He tosses toys and sticks. Gilroy stomps on Llama's coat. Gilroy is a bully goat. Oh, no, they realized he was a bully. But, you know, he can do some things to make his, his friendships better um, just by showing some kindness and thinking about how his friends feel. Gilroy, this is not okay. Stop it or we'll go away. <laughs> Good for you. They're telling him how they feel. And they're saying, you know, if you're going to do these not nice things, I'm not going to want to play with you anymore. This is all in the middle. So in the middle, this, the, the problem is he's being a bully. And the llama and his friend try to confront him and talk to him about how it's wrong and how they don't like that. <clears throat> being bullied is no fun. Walk away. See, they're just ignoring him. And sometimes you have to do that. And tell someone. Gilroy fusses, frowns, and pouts. Gilroy gets a long time out. That one's, that's when you have to sit on the side and watch how nice everybody else plays so you can learn how to play that nicely too and not do all those other not nice things. Teacher says, let's try again. Teachers and parents always love giving uh, students lots of chances and kids lots of chances to, to make the right choice. Gilroy, can you be a friend? No more kicking, no more names. Time to play a nicer game. End of recess, back inside. Gilroy sits by teacher's side. She's going to keep a close eye on him. Everybody sings the song, and this, and this time, Gilroy sings along. Gilroy has fun with Llama, but school is over, and here comes Mama. Tomorrow has more games to try. He's doing a great job. See you then. And then his friends wave goodbye. All right, so in the beginning of this story... Everyone's having a great time in the school, in the setting of the school. The characters are the students and then the zebra teacher. Middle of the story, he's being such a bully, like you wouldn't even believe. Like doing some of the meanest things on earth. And at the end, he realizes he's losing friends and it's not a right way to be. And he's starting to gather more people and they're gonna to wanna to be with him. They wanna play with him. They wanna to play together. And that's the best kind of thing in the world is um, 
you know, gaining friends. And having one friend is so much bigger deal than having zero friends. And it looks like Gilroy's on the road to making right choices. Remember, beginning, middle, end, all parts of the story, and it changed. It was wonderful in the beginning. It changed in the middle because he was being mean. He was being a bully. And then at the end, everything got better because they found a way to make it work. All right, great job today. And I'm going to ask you to follow up on that worksheet today for you. I hope you enjoyed the story. I got one more for you tomorrow. And then we're going to tackle the grade level story on Wednesday. It's a fantasy story. There's a lot of twists and turns. I'll see you then. Adios.